Tokyo, Reuters, Japan will provide Taiwan with 1.24 million doses of AstraZeneca PLC's coronavirus vaccine for free, Foreign Minister Tashimitsu Moteji said on Friday, just hours before the shipment was due to be delivered. Taiwan is battling a spike in domestic infections and has vaccinated less than 3% of its population. Japan has contracted to procure more than 300 million doses of coronavirus vaccines from Pfizer Inc., Moderna Inc. and AstraZeneca, more than enough to cover its entire population. Gates' associate pleads guilty, agrees to help feds what makes meme stock mania different from the 1990s tech bubble equities are still a good bet, even if inflation persists a little longer. Stan Chart Morgan. The Fed is likely to make some indication they're going to raise rates sooner than expected Susie Welch. Here's how to know you're about to get fired XTD Ameritrade CEO to AMC traders. Leverage on the downside could rip your arms off this 28-year-old's company makes millions buying from Walmart and selling on Amazon Twitter announces subscription offering called Twitter Blue 3 Reasons Why Gold Is Missing Out on the Commodity Rally. ETF expert says strategist J.J. Kinahan on whether meme stock rally is good for the market's Miami Mayor Francis Suarez on how the city is embracing crypto weekly jobless claims total 385,000, versus 393,000 estimate private payrolls rose by 978,000 in May, versus 680,000 estimate. ADP experts explain why AMC's stock tanked on news it planned to sell 11.5 million shares AMC files to sell up to 11.55 million shares Etsy rallies on $1.6 billion Depop deal, but Trader says a different retail stock looks best. The relationship between Taiwan and Japan has always been extremely close, and our friendship is firm and deep, Taiwan's foreign ministry said in a statement. Whenever disasters or accidents occur, both sides immediately lend a helping hand to each other and send help in the hour of need. Japan approved AstraZeneca's vaccine last month and has contracted to buy 120 million doses. But there are no immediate plans to use the shots, amid lingering concerns raised internationally over blood clots. Reporting by Kiyoshi Takenaka and Rocky Swift in Tokyo, Ben Blanchard in Taipei. Editing by Christopher Cushing and Simon Cameron Moore.